Well, I can say hello to Aidan and welcome. And it's very really lovely to see you here, Aidan. But let me hand over to Michelle. Um, won't you please welcome our young man from South Africa? Yes, sure. Thank you, Celeste. Hi, Aidan, Tom, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How welcome you? to the Global Edition Field Trip. I'm Michelle, I'm your, one of your hosts today and really, really eager to listen to what today. How's South Africa? It's good. Yeah? Aiden, as an What's English going on teacher, with you? Sorry to interrupt you, but as an English teacher, that drives me crazy because I know it's a very American answer. And I always want to say, Aiden, what is South Africa good at? You know, we know that it's good. But what is it good yeah. at? Um, but it's just a little quirk of my own, so please don't worry about that. South Africa is good, Michelle. All right. Aiden, what do you have for us? What do you want to share with us today at the gift? Um, so I entered a um inventors club of South Africa and um my my project was a <clears throat> eco-friendly planting system with a um, with an automatic watering system um okay yeah if i can interrupt this slightly um aiden the um yeah. idea behind this competition was that entrants had to produce something repurposing reusing or redesigning anything that would make learning fun or interesting and they had to use plastic. Yeah. And this is what Aiden came. He came first in the competition and he won a 3D printer. So yeah. he's now uh, going to tell us all about his um, entry. Thanks, Aiden. Um, I have a short video that I can play. Um, it'll show you how I made um, my project and how it was built. Jake, please, can you share the video? Thank you. Looking forward to watching it. Oh, I think I have that video. I'm sorry. I, I, I have on. it. I have oh. it. I have okay. It. Either way. I knew your name looked familiar, Aiden. I'm 10 years old. Thank you. Aiden, what is your project? And what was the problem and how Wait you a minute. find Wait. a solution? So my problem is that lots of people don't have space. That okay, Aiden, I am sorry. I... It, it opened up a different screen on me. Don't no, forget to fine. share your screen first, Jake. I know, I know, because another screen popped up. Now I'm okay. going to be doing this. Okay, so let's try this. And let's try this. Oh, you should all see a potted plant, right? We do. Hello, my name is Aiden, and I'm 10 years old. So Aiden, what is your project and what was the problem and how are you trying to find a solution? So my problem is that lots of people don't have space in their houses and gardens. So they end up going to the shops to buy vegetables. <coughs> so the problem with that is that the vegetables mostly come in plastic, which is bad for the ecosystem and bad for the environment. So I've created a way to plant your plants in bottles which is plastic so you end up taking a little bit of the plastic away which kind of helps the environment and tell me about this project and how you did it and how it is fun and easy to teach uh, to show children so what happens is it's very educational because you can see how much a plant drinks a day but what happens is the strings in all of these things absorb the water and it's by the roots. So the water will suck into the roots and give the plant some water. <clears throat> and it's educational because if you look here, there's a line. It's already drunk a little bit. That means it's really thirsty. So it's also fun because children can see from little seedlings how they grow into plants like this and how they grow so big and tall and then eventually you can go and pick them and have a nice juicy salad. Tell me a little bit about the facts on plastic. 
So it's really bad that animals can die from plastic because if you leave plastic in the ocean, a turtle or a dolphin might drown if, it, if it's a dolphin or a turtle, they might fins get tangled up and they might go, fl float down and they might just drown and die. <clears throat> it's really sad. And then there's another fact about we can die from plastic if we eat it because we don't know we're eating it. There's plastic called microplastic that is smaller than five millimeters. So what happens it is the source of it is tires, um, resources from your kitchen, resources from your bathrooms like makeup and toothpaste, bottles and cans, all of that that really makes microplastic and you can sometimes eat it without knowing and you can die. <coughs> and then another fact is only 9% of plastic gets recycled. So I would really like to recycle more plastic so we can get rid of global warming. And <coughs> did you know that the average lifespan of plastic is 12 minutes? So where will people be able to find your method on how you do your planting? We'll, we'll post it at the end of this video so you can see how I did it. But it is really easy. Thank you. Bye. Wow. <laughs> that was really good, Aiden. Aiden, Aiden I, I just want to tell you something. Um, I am going to show that video to my students on Monday morning. I, that, I am showing that. Okay. So besides gift, you're also going to be uh, spread apart to uh, students at Talcott Mountain. So wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm really surprised that the average lifespan is 12 minutes of a piece of plastic. Yeah. That's scary. And was, sad. Was, was, did you mean the using? Uh, 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 no, the average lifespan of it. But plastic takes a long time to break down. Not much more than 12 he minutes. Must mean, he must mean, I think he meant utilizing it. Yeah. Not when it breaks down. But that's yeah. incredible. And we do need to find an alternative for sure. Well, no, not not right away because tomorrow I'm going to start building these uh, water, uh, soda bottle uh, uh, plants. We so, have plenty yeah. for you. No, don't get rid plenty. of them right now. I, you know. Yeah. Aiden, how hey, long did it take us? you to work on your project? Um. <laughs> Um, I think maybe two days.
Um, but okay. the planting did take a bit longer to do. So you had the seedlings already um, planted and then you just transferred them onto the bottle. Um, that's what took two days? Um, yes. Okay, it looks pretty good. Thank you. Aiden, do you want to tell us about your prize? Um, so I've, I've got a 3D printer as my prize. Um, um, I've 3D printed um, animals, shapes, and my own projects. So I've actually got one here to show you what I've printed, like a 3D snake. Okay. Do you have a plan of what you're going to do with anything you print? Or are you just printing uh, games? Um, so... I have donated some to my teachers because of um, their children. I want to help their children learn. Okay, and how how do your three D printing um, goodies help a child learn? So I've been three D printing shapes to give to the teachers um, that can help them learn angles and the diameters of things. Okay. Okay. Fine. Going back to your garden, my last question. Um, are you still carrying on with your garden or was it just an entry for the competition? Um, so I am actually carrying on. I'm teaching my class at school how to do it. And um, my mom's seeing if she can go to the community gardens in the village, in villages and she's seeing if I can teach them how to do it. And then the visitors that come can also learn how to do it and then it can become a chain reaction. That's really excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I've got um I've got a button up that I grew um oh. from my garden. It's one one point eight kilograms. You grew that? Yeah. It started off in the it started in the bottle. You transplanted yeah. it into the garden. Yeah. And that's your button up. Yeah, this is oh, my, wow. one of my buttons. Oh, oh, Aiden, Aiden, I, I, I need from you a list of all the vegetables that are the best to grow because <laughs> I don't want to waste our time doing something that isn't going to work. So you obviously have a lot of experience. So yeah, if you can give me a list of all, please send it to me, a list of the vegetables that you recommend that are the best. I can tell you right now. Okay. Um, so first of all, you must just make sure you have space for some of these. So um, they, they can be small and big plants, so you must just make sure you have space for them. <clears throat> um, and if you don't, then you must rather use um, something like lettuce um, or herbs or small the small plants. If you use the big plants and you don't have space, it's, it's not going to work. To transplant them. Okay. Things like butternut so, and watermelon, they take space to grow, don't they? Exactly. And some um some other things like um lettuce, um tomato, cucumber, herbs, butternut, baby marrow, and cat um catnip. You don't oh. have to do the catnip. I just did catnip because I have two cats. <laughs> but we have a problem now. I'm hungry. You've had all that delicious um, food. Uh, I can't help. Sorry. Can we all? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We, we can come now. We can come to your place. We'll have lunch. Um, <laughs> we could have a juicy salad. Um, Aiden, okay. Aiden, thanks so much and congratulations on your video. Uh, great work. We're going to have to stop here because our next guest has come, but please do something else magnificent like this and come back again. Okay. okay. We okay. do this once a quarter. So thanks so much. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.